Did you just try to type an exclamation mark but accidentally weren't holding down the shift button? Because that's right, it's time for more one player games on Solitary Confinement, where I play all 150 solitaire games from Douglas Brown's 150 solitaire games. That, you know, I'm, it's so hard to come up with these guys. Anyway, today we are playing a game called Marriages. And it's, uh, the book describes it as another pairing game, uh, where suits do not matter at all, which, well, duh, because how can you have pairs of the same suit? It's, it's literally impossible game, geez. Um, but there is a twist that makes it a little bit interesting, hopefully at least. Oh, I need more space. Eh. <laughs> And I will get to that twist shortly. So, <clears throat> this is a simple pairing game where only values count, and to be paired, cards must be side by side, one above the other, or corner to corner. In other words, even though there's a nine here and a nine here, they've never met, so they can't get married. These guys, though, they've been hanging out, they love each other. They'll go over here. And then what happens, just like a weird, like, candy crush or cookie jam game, these go up, apparently. Which, you know what? Sure. Hmm. Oh, look at these guys. Look at those swell fellows. I think... Yeah, I just gotta be careful, because I want to try and get myself into a situation like I want if I can get this nine up here that'd be real swell that poor nine over there isn't gonna do much though oh and that's that's a king okay so let's see spaces are filled by moving cards up from the lower rows in order all right hmm okay I have to be very vigilant here. Nine, no nines. Ten, no tens. Four, no fours. King, no kings. Queens, no queens. Nines, no nines. Threes, no threes. Kings, no kings. Jacks, no jacks. Tens, no tens. Aces. Okay. So this game has already been lost. This feels like it's going to be real tough. Watch this. Whoosh. Pretty sweet, right? Figured out how to do that. Hmm. So yeah, this one seems like not your average cup of pears. I'm sorry. My wordplay is maybe not the best. Ooh, there's a, a cute couple. Alright. And I would just want to move it up a little further. Sorry, I guess I'm not talking much. That's why I count them off when I when I deal them most of the time. Okay, so there's some fives here, some sevens here, but there's also a seven there. So, is there anybody who I want to pair up at some point? These threes are sadly too many columns away and can never be together. That's sad. There's also a, wow, there's a seven in many places. Okay, so I have to get this one to pair with this one so that this one can eventually pair with this one because there's no way these two can ever be together. So this one, this one can only ever pair with this one, so it's going to have to. So I guess I do that now. I guess it's not really relevant. I just need to make sure this, oh, that queen can't get there until I, okay. So that means, oh, rough, okay. So I just have to hope a queen shows up on one of these other ones? Oh boy, and these threes are, oh, how are you supposed to win this game? Uh, well, okay, I guess I'll get the fives out of the way because they can't be any more useful to each other and all of these sevens, all of the sevens in the game are out. That's crazy, man. Okay, that's an okay place for four. 
Ace is not great. Okay, so these need to fall in love with each other? Yes. So these need to happen. And so now these move up. All right, eight and a 10. Hmm. Nine, four. Man, I really like the sound of this game, but it is just not possible. <laughs> like, there's, there's gotta be something. Let me see, okay. Parent game, we're only, this is dealt with 16 cards. Need three seven here. Hmm. This is our field by moving the cards up from the low place. The five C would wait. The five C would be moved in to replace the nine S. What? The ten H. Oh, okay. I've been doing it wrong. I've been doing it wrong. I was thinking of it like a game of, of Candy Crush. But, uh, but he moves. Apparently, the game snakes. You know, like my favorite character from Escape from New York, Snake Plissken. I was about to say a quote, but I literally can't think of one. I just know he's played by. Oh my god, what's his name? The famous actor. He's in many films. He's in a lot of Tarantino films. He played, what's his name's dad in that other film. Wow. Almost every three, almost every two. So now, how is this going to work? Sorry for bumping that. Oh, there is every three here. Okay. So, here's how this works. Apparently, you're supposed to... After doing it like this, you kind of snake it around, which, boy, is that a hassle. Oh, boy, that's, that is pain. Okay, I'm going to uh, do a check here. 5C would go, move from the place to 9, I guess the 10H would go with the space left by the 5C. The age would come over to the left of the second row, and so on. Oh, wait, what? Ten H was the five C A H. What? The A H would come over to the left of the second row. So, what? Okay, one more time. Move this. It's, uh, Moving cards up from the lower rows in order. The, but the 5C isn't in the lower row at all. 5C is in the, the literal top column. The top row. Would come over to the left of the second row. What is going on here? 5C would be moved, in. the 10H would go in the space left by the 5C, but they're in different places. Why would the AH go there? Why would the AH go there? I don't know. I'm just going to keep playing it like this. I hate it, but it works. See? It works great. That is the right choice. Everybody shut up. All right. Um, let's, oh boy, yep, let's get rid of these threes, because they're the only threes left in the game, so these scoot forward, these go here, these go here, these go here, these go here, and then we flip some new ones. I do like how this makes them all kind of rotate out. Um, so let's see. I could pair these twos over here, or these two, or no, not those twos over there. 
Uh, is that my only... Oh, I could also move these queens. I would move that over. I'd keep those fours really far apart, though. So yeah, I'll just do these twos. Wait, that wouldn't, though. Yes, it would. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it would. That would go there. Those would go... Yeah. So let's, let's try it this way. See how it goes. And... There. I think this will make it easy to... Because I only ever need to do two at a time. If you really think about it. Alright. Nope. Haha. -ha. Nice try. And look, we're already almost halfway through the deck. Counting the 12 that are here. Which, of course, why wouldn't I count the 12 that are here? I have three queens all right next to each other. Ladies, please. Contain yourselves. Alright. Um, if I get rid of these two... Then this steps forward one, but doesn't really get... No, because this goes forward one, so it would just end up there. Because mm -hmm. I want to get these aces by each other and these fours by each other, but I don't think I can do either in a single step. So... Let's see, if I do these... Then that goes there and that goes there. Let's, let's see how this goes. I like doing it like that. Who knows, maybe I'm just getting, like, really lucky with all these, and my strategy isn't really in any way relevant. I hope it is, but, like, you never know. Okay, there's a six somewhere on the board, and there's a four right there. Well, that messes with some things, but not many things. I would just move the jack over and the six a little bit closer. The six needs to move real far to get there. And the nines and fives and... Jeez, I really want that four somewhere else, but this is the only move I can make? Yeah, alright. Oh man, this game is like, real close. But there's something about the way that it moves that I wish I could have some control over. Hey, this seems like it'll be good. Because that lets me move this and that. Which helps me get the ace out of the way. Oh, and there's a 10 there now, though. Ooh, and a 6. If I move that ace, the 10s will both just scoot forward one and the 6. Okay. These aces are actually good ones to move, I think. It's actually really hard for my brain to, like, realize exactly how these cards are going to move, and I don't know why, because it's, like, not super, like, crazy stuff going on. Oh, that's a decision to make. Well, no, because if I get rid of the 10s, oh, no, the 6s won't be next to each other, and neither will the 10s. But there's a 6 in the corner up here that I want to get rid of, so yeah, I got to get rid of these 10s, get that 6 out, that would be so nice. Okay, got some, some movement going in the lower layers. I didn't even see these kings over here. Alright, it's 10 and a 2. Okay, I doubt it's going to happen, but if that does ever happen, that'll be sweet. So yeah, this this 6 and this 6. Let's do a real shake up here, boys. Alright, this gets that. Oh, we have a nice little royal... Royal wedding over there, eh? Because the game's game called marriages. Eh. This is where it gets awkward though, because I've got nothing. I need a good flip. Oh, you're kidding me! This needs to be a king. It's a five. Okay. Oh, we know it doesn't, because I've got a king right here. It just kind of sucks for some stuff. Because yeah, I really wanted that king to get up there, but I don't think it can. It is nice to have a, a 5 there, though. It means that if I ever get to it, that 5 will get up there. 8 and an ace. Okay. Dang it. I don't think I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna, 
I'm going to redeal and see how that goes. Just with the cards that are left. Because I, I really want this to do something. Okay. Like, look at that. See, that's a good deal. Mm-mm, that's a good deal. Sorry, that was an attempt at, like, a car salesman voice. Yeah, I feel like this is a game where it'd be real nice just to have a couple fewer cards. Just, like, just a few fewer. That said, I have a million options right now. Um, so I think I want to start down here. Just because this is, these can be like my worst comes to worst kind of a thing. So I'm going to do these, no. Because I can still do these pretty much no matter what. Um, but these queens I can't do right now. Oh, except that there's an extra jack there. So no matter what, I'll be able to get a pair of jacks out. Wow, they are just, at this point it's not even like fun. All right, so I could do these fives over here. Yeah, because these, uh, actually, if I just do both of these jacks, that kind of makes my five situation pretty sweet. Yeah, look at that. But then how do I, uh, oh, I can't pair up the fives without messing up the rest of them. Well, I can a little. I can just get rid of these two. And then scoot. All of these over. And yeah. Uh, oh, and then of course, new cards. Two. And it's. Wow. Okay. Really? Pair of aces, pair of twos. Like. Yeah. Sure. I'll just do that then. Wow, they're just giving it to me now. I feel, I feel like I've been robbed of some enjoyment by cheating. I mean, it wasn't cheating that much. But it was cheating enough for the, the, the gods of solitary mint. Douglas Brown himself. Alright, now we have... Yeah, I think I just... Yeah, I think I found out the best strategy is just kind of aim as low as possible. And only do the... Uh, only do the ones at top if you get stuck. Um, yeah, because this these are the only sevens in the game. And see, yeah, now I would be stuck. But I'm not. The best one I think I can do is this one. Yeah. Oh, well, I could do I could do these tens. Let's do these tens. Um, it still lets me do the nines in a worst case scenario, uh, but it scoots all these ahead. I do not know how I'm supposed to get them when they come down to like two cards. Because like if it's just like king eight, king eight, then like the game is lost. So I got to figure out how to upset that rhythm. I think I need to get these nines out of the way now. Oh, which is still working on my strategy, so it's not really that much of a, of a like, you know, what am I to do here thing, because I figured it out. Alright, and I want to do these two fours, because that gets, oh no, that's okay. I think... I just need to get these kings out of the way so that the eights can be together. Those wonderful, wonderful eights. Okay, and then, yeah, now the game's over. All right. That was all right. That was an okay game. Yeah. It was, I wish, I mean, I can understand why, you know, Candy Crush, you know, stole their mechanic from, from marriages. Actually, it's almost closer to, like, Zuma. Who remembers Zuma, am I right? My dad played that. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Good game. Bye.